In this video clip I want to show you how we can harness the power of a spreadsheet program and in particular of an add-in to analyze enzyme data, experimental enzyme data I should say here. So here we have our substrate concentration and the corresponding rates and what we want to find from these two things is our Vmax and the Km for this particular enzyme, uh, whatever the enzyme reaction uh, in this case was. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to estimate Vmax and uh, our corresponding Km. So if we look at our rate here, we can say probably Vmax obviously needs to be higher than this last reading here. So we could probably say our estimate Vmax might be around, let's say, maybe 15 millimolar per minute. Now, can we estimate our Km? Well, we know that Km is the substrate concentration that gives half of Vmax. So if we say that our estimate Vmax is 15, then half of Vmax is around 7.5. And the substrate concentration that gives us uh, this half of v Vmax would be around 100 millimolar. So let's say our estimate Km in this case would be around 100 millimolar. So these are estimates, rough ballpark figures, and, uh, the, where we know then that this is uh, hopefully our true values are in the in this range. Now in the previous videos, I showed you how we can analyze these data with a line with a Berg plot and an Eddy Hofstay plot in order to get the true Vmax and the true Km. Now, in this video clip, I want to show you how we can actually do that without a graphical analysis. So, the concept behind this is really that we say we will calculate actually an estimate rate. So let's make this a little bit bigger. So here we calculate just purely from the Michaelis-Menten equation, we calculate an estimate rate. So estimate rate. And for that, we use the Michaelis-Menten equation with our estimate Vmax and Km. So every equation in uh, Excel starts with an equal sign. And now we need Vmax, that's this number here, and we want it as a fixed value. So we press the F4 key, which makes this cell fixed. So F12, that is our Vmax now, and that will stay all the way down here as F12. So the Michaelis-Menten equation is Vmax times the substrate concentration that we have here, divided by Km, our estimate Km, that's this one here, and we want to make this fixed again. So we press the F4 button plus the substrate concentration, this one here, and obviously close the bracket. So that is our estimate or calculated rate for this particular substrate concentration. And we see that this calculated rate is pretty close to the observed rate. So let's just simply drag this down with our equation and we get the numbers for our calculated um, equations here. So what we can do now is we can say, okay, what is the difference between our estimate or calculated rate and the observed rate? So let's say difference 
between estimate rate and observed rate. So all we need to do is we just simply say this minus this one here and that gives us the difference. Right. And um, what we see here is that we have some of the numbers are positive, the difference. Some of the numbers are negative here. And uh, what we can do now is to take account of that is we can just simply say, let's take, why not take the square of these differences. So square of differences. Then we don't have to worry about whether the difference is positive or negative. Equals this number squared. Okay, so that these are the differences. So what we can say is, okay, our calculated rate with these numbers give us these differences and also these square of the differences. And the larger the difference is, the larger would also be the sum. So let's take the sum of the square of the differences. Let me write that down. Sum square of differences. Uh, so here we say equals the sum of the square of the differences. Okay, so that is the sum of the square of the differences. Now let's see what happens if we change some of the uh, values that we have here of our estimate Vmax and Km. So let's change this to, let's say, 20. What would happen if it was 20? Ah, what we see is that our estimate rate or calculated rate changes and the differences change and also the square of the differences so that the sum of the square of the differences becomes quite large. So that means there is a big difference now between our calculated rate and the observed rate. So let's go back to what we had before. I think it was 15. Let's see what happens if we change this to, let's say, 80 V uh, km. What would happen? Aha! Uh -huh. We get another calculated rate set, differences, and here our the sum of the square of the differences are again uh, larger than we had when we had, let's say, 100. So it looks like that with our 100, we were actually not too bad. Let's see what happens if we've got 16 here. Ah, it's a little bit too big here. So 15 was not bad, but we have two different parameters and we can play around with these parameters until we get really a very, very low number here. The lower the number here are in the sum of the square of the differences, the closer is our calculated rate to the observed rate. Now Excel has a wonderful add-in um, that allows us an optimization of these two numbers of Vmax and Km that we've estimated. You find this, um, this add-on under data, you need to install it, but in the uh, subtitle of this video, there is also uh, instructions how you uh, install this uh, program. It is called Solver. 
You see it here over in the Analyze function of Excel. So let's just simply invoke Solver. So here we have Solver. And what we want actually is we want the objective, we want this number here set to a minimum. We want the sum of the squares of the difference set to a minimum and we want the, 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 the cells that should be changed are our estimate Vmax and Km. So this is what we have here. So let's check set objective this cell to a minimum by changing these numbers. We don't have to worry about the constraints or something like that. All we need to do is now we invoke Solver like that and wait until it finds a solution. And in fact it does find a, a solution to uh, all to our problems here to the estimate Vmax and Km. And it gives us here the sum of the square of the differences and that's a really small number. So that's the minimum number that this optimization program could find by changing Vmax and Km to these numbers. So Vmax is 16.28 and Km is 112.79. With these two numbers, our calculated rate is the closest to the observed rate. We don't get any closer if we change these numbers. Uh, any changes would result in a higher difference between the calculated rate and the observed rate. Now, something that I probably uh, should mention to you with this method, which gave us these wonderful uh, data here, actually, when I did these calculations here, when I set up these numbers, uh, my Vmax, the true Vmax actually was 16.3 millimolar per minute and the Km was 112.7. So our calculated Vmax and Km are very very close to the original numbers with which I have set it up. And this is all done without any plots just by simply using this solver function in Excel. So I hope uh, this makes life a lot easier when you have to analyze um, enzyme data and you can use this approach uh, for whatever data you want to analyze by just simply calculating from, a, from an equation your calculated data and compare them to your observed data. Take the differences of both, take the square of the differences and invoke the solver program and let Solver do the rest. So I hope this makes sense and uh, you can use this wonderful add-in in Excel for future enzyme analysis studies. Thank you very much for watching.